Yo, what's good with y'all boys? It's the homie Jojo back for another video. And today we're going to be discussing the absence of Ski Master Slump God. But before we get into the video, everybody subscribe with post notifications on. Follow my Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore and bro, let's get it. So recently, Ski Master Slump God posted on his Instagram story saying, I haven't dropped a project in two years and I'm going to be dropping all 2021. And that made me think like, yo, where has Ski Master Slump God been? Like dudes only dropped like four to five tracks within the last two years. And I don't understand how you could do that as an artist and still have a loyal fan base but for him i'd say that he has an understanding fan base now let me tell you guys why i say that as you guys know in 2018 ski lost his best friend xxx and tashian and to be honest with you guys before the passing it seemed like ski was being a jerk to him because apparently he switched up or whatever and i know that's probably not the case but it appeared that way on social media so when you're the bad guy inside the situation and a good guy passes away obviously there's going to be people that's judging you and telling you you should have been there and all that type of stuff so obviously ski feels guilty i mean inside the dedication post for x he literally said i'm sorry for everything so yeah i mean who wouldn't feel guilty if they was in ski shoes so when all these people are judging you and looking at the situation in a wrong way it's not a good idea to be on social media because that's gonna mess up your mental health so he did what anybody else would do and he took a step back from dropping music and from being on social media but eliminate all the guilt that he's feeling either way if your best friend passes away you're still not gonna be in the mood to drop music and you know have your face all over social media but with all the devastation being thrown at ski at the time Five months later, he would drop a project, and it wasn't a dedication project for X, but X would still make a cameo in the La La video. Overall, the project was good, and it received some good reviews, and it seemed like Ski was going down the right road for success. But after Stokely dropped, he wouldn't drop any music for a year straight, and that would worry his fans because they wouldn't know if he was good or not because at this point, he wasn't on social media. But the fans came to conclusion like, yo, his best friend just passed away, so we gotta be patient. And that's why I said earlier, like, those fans are loyal and they're understanding. But him maintaining those fans after a long year wait was probably a relief for him because there's nothing worse than your career falling off just because of your absence because you're going to know it's your fault. So the fans stand there and going all out for a single carbonated water was a W and that motivated Ski to drop more music. But sadly, a month after he dropped his single carbonated water, his best friend Juice World passed away from a drug overdose. And this is when the fans would be concerned more than ever because Ski would tweet some scary messages saying, I wish it was me instead of X or Juice. And Ski is just out of it, like losing your best friend two years in a row obviously he's gonna be thinking that way but when your two best friends that pass are legends you have some big shoes to fill you feel me but instead of him giving up he tried his hardest to make him happy and his fans happy but you can't make other people happy giving out negative energy so he took some time off to work on himself and that's a mature thing to do so props to ski on that fast forward to july ski drops burn the hoods after seven months of silence and to be honest with you guys the song did pretty good for someone who hasn't dropped all year so ski announces his album is dropping in october i think he was aiming for a hollow drop but we didn't get anything and it's probably because he only had one single out that was going to be on the album and if that's the case bro the album sales wouldn't have been good i don't think he delayed it for his mental health or anything like that but he's back so he says and hopefully he's actually in the right position to give his fans his all because you don't want to be the fan base that rushes an artist healing process like he's leaving all that negativity and depression in 2020 i really do hope that this is ski's year because in previous years it seems like he went through hell and back but yet he's still trying his hardest to give us his all i know if that was me I would have said adios but I'm really ready for this album for real for real mainly because he's been working on music for the past two years behind the scenes and all the snippets that he gave us was straight gas but Ski took a break and now he's ready so we all gotta be ready for whatever he's about to give us I'm hype bro comment down below what you guys think Ski's music is gonna be like in 2021 you guys think it's about to be fire or is it gonna be trash you feel me everybody subscribe with post notifications on if you guys enjoyed the video similar content to this on my channel so go check them out follow my Instagram at jojoscout underscore and bro. Let's get it.